Before we start, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Jeremy Cook. I'm one of the trainers here at Cloud Academy, specializing in DevOps. AWS CodeCommit is a fully managed source control service. AWS CodeCommit can be used to host your own private Git repositories in a fully secured environment managed by AWS. AWS CodeCommit is an extremely simple service designed with all the features you come to expect from a Git-based source control system. For starters, AWS CodeCommit supports all familiar Git commands, ensuring that you can use any existing Git client tools and or commands entered from the command line or terminal. AWS CodeCommit supports typical Git operations such as clone, pull, push and fetch. AWS CodeCommit acts as the source control system for your software projects. It is the service into which you commit your code changes. In essence, AWS CodeCommit is the starting component within a CI CD setup. Any commits into AWS CodeCommit trigger downstream activity within your CI CD setup, such as kicking off a new build of your source code. The steps to set up a new Git repository within AWS CodeCommit are simple and effortless. You can have your own Git repository available within minutes. The first and really only significant requirement is to give your new repository a name. To complete the new repository setup, you have the option of configuring email notifications for particular events. This configuration is completed through the use of a CloudWatch event rule. AWS CodeCommit provides several integration options. Using any combination of the following, allows you to extend and customize your source code workflow. Repository triggers. Within a repository, you can register repository triggers to trigger actions, for example, sending a message to an SNS topic or to a Lambda function. Code commit CloudWatch events. Code commit integrates with CloudWatch events. This allows you to create event-driven workflows that trigger off particular events that occur within your code commit repository. For example, pipelines created within code pipeline can be triggered to execute when a commit takes place within your repository. There are two connection options available to you when attempting to connect to your AWS code commit hosted Git repositories. The first option is to do so over the standard HTTPS protocol using port 443. This is useful when working behind corporate firewalls that may block other types of outbound traffic. The second option is to do so over the SSH protocol using port 22. Regardless of chosen connection type, both protocols ensure that all source code transferred to and from the repository is encrypted for security. Authenticated access into a code commit repository is managed through the use of an IAM user account. Depending on the connection type, HTTPS or SSH, you'll need to either generate HTTPS SCIP credentials or upload an SSH public key respectively on the IAM user account in question. An HTTPS SCIP credential is nothing more than an auto-generated username and password combination. Most, if not all, Git client tools will support either or both of these authentication methods. Additionally, IAM policies can be used to provide fine-grained identity-based access to known repositories by name. For example, an IAM user who has the following attached policy will be allowed to perform equivalent git pull and push commands on the two repositories named Cloud Academy Repo 1 and Cloud Academy Repo 2. We really do hope you will enjoy and learn from this content. 